Okay, so we are here at uh, Vidian Chevrolet with my friend here. Repping. And you can come see him. We're gonna check out the new 2019 Camaro, which uh, a lot of people are not liking, but liking. There's some controversial. We have some nice Corvettes here. But the one we have in front of us is a 10-speed automatic. 2019 this is kind of cool you can see both this is the older style right here yep. so you have a 2018 here and this is the new 2019 i actually like it seeing it's it in different. person i think i like it yeah well that's is this a v6 over here yep so you have the v6 the ss and this is the 2018 you can see the, the difference so I'll, just so you guys can see here this is a really cool a difference which you can see here is the 2018 right here, and then you have right here the new 2019 refresh fascia with the, what they call it, the flow tie there? Is that what they call that? The kind of floating look of the new 2019. And also what's new for the 2019 here, it has a 10 speed automatic. It is in the 2018 Mustang GT a uh, year before, but uh, same horsepower, correct? 455 horsepower. Okay. I really like. Look at this grill. It's like a. This is really strong and aggressive. So. Yeah. You can you can pull it out or pop the hood or whatever you want to do. All right. Yeah. I actually kind of like the V6 a little bit better. The look, anyways. Ah, oh, look at these lights. These are these are different. Cool here is uh, the backup camera is right on the spoiler, but in person, I will say that it looks a lot better than a lot of the pictures that people were really critical of. These rear tail lights remind me of the older Corvette. A little bit of Chevy Cobalt, I could see that too, but this particular package the way it's set up is really nice. Um, Oh, look, we have the uh, sticker, uh, the MSRP right here. This one stickers for 46, and it is a Camaro 2SS. So it has all the the goodies here. And you can see the 10-speed uh, the automatics and upgrade, power sunroof, dual mode exhaust, and the adrenaline, it smells so good in here. <laughs> smells, well, that's a new car smell for you. I also like that this has a, the, this has the, uh, well, that's, okay, this is the exhaust sounds here. So let's go here. So you went, you, you have stealth, tour, sport. All right, let's go here. I need sounds. So you won't get tickets. That's stealth. What's the next one? What about sport? Now this is sport. Okay, this is just for your... A little bit, little bit softer than the uh, Sport. This sounds like it's aggressive. What is this one called? Track. Oh, this is track. I better hold my ear. So it's a fully loaded model here. I see the leather and yeah, it has the uh, adrenaline red. This is very nice. Like it, actually, actually it's, wow, it is nice. Also, we're gonna take a look at this LS motor. Very nice. It's got a good bourbon to it. You know what we put for the music. Yeah. It's on eight. That'll be cool. Once again, guys, huge thanks to Vidian. You can check the link to their website and the dealership in the description below. 
and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put some gas in it, take it for a drive, and I'll tell you how it feels, especially with this new 10 speed. We're getting gas, cause how many miles empty they had? Like six, and like six miles empty. But we're gonna take my, you know, you know, if you follow this channel, it's mostly st uh, Mustangs, but you know, we got to check out this new variant, this new 2019 Camaro 2SS with the 10 speed. And if you know or you don't know now, I'm a big proponent of the new 10 speed automatic. So we're going to see what it's like. We're going to see how it drives. And I'm going to give you my first hand impressions of this bad boy right here. We're putting premium in there. For some reason, Wawa only does 92, not 93. <laughs> All right, we're good to go? Yeah. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, this is nice. So here it is a push button start. So you start it over here. So you can see it comes to life there. We're jamming already. Waiting for the screens to start up. Screens will start up in, start, start it up, start it up again. All right. Does it like me? Got the dimmer switch here. So when you turn this all the way down, it disappears. When you turn it all the way up, you get, uh, you have lights. This is all, I'm gonna put open this up to get some light up in here some greenhouse so let's go in the new tooth oh this heads up display is nice oh, it has heated steering wheel too you can change the mode too here okay so there's, there's different driving modes okay so we can go from uh track sport tour and then snow ice so track all right let's do track let's let our hair out. While we wait to get some open roads, I will give a little commentary about its direct competitor, what I own, which is a 2018 Mustang GT, but it has a 10-speed automatic. And I can tell you just some differences on just driving around town is that this car definitely feels a lot more, I don't know if the word is planted and tight to the road, but it feels more, a lot more aggressively uh, set up. One of the things I do like about this is that the paddle shifters are aggressively long. You won't miss it with either one of your fingers, pinky or index or otherwise. So just to show you guys what I was talking about, these uh, paddle shifters are nice and aggressive right here. So that's pretty good. I do really like this, uh, this option here with the red and then they have the colors. So I'm sure you can change the different colors. Um, new, this is pretty uh, ambient lighting. So you can go there. Oh, look at that. So let's do like a purple i think it might change to a purple there it goes changes to a purple so you know there's a heads up display so you can actually have a lot of fun and, and depending on your personality i guess you want to go full red you know you can see it change there that little that kind of stuff is like those secret features in a video game you play over and over and you find, you find different things like I found a new level or I found a new like whatever. This is kind of cool. This is kind of interesting. It looks like there's two tone here. Uh, I don't know if that what that does, but we're gonna find out. We'll right? find out. Okay, Let's it looks like it. there's two levels. Yeah, it's like green. It goes green and then it goes red. So that's pretty neat. All right, you know you can feel. Oh, that's a good, that's a good verbal. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good verbal. That was my first pull. Yeah, that was pretty good. All right. Now we looking. Good my way. All right, good. All right. Okay, cool. We have some room and we have some twisty roads coming up here. This does actually have an upgraded suspension on it too. This does have, okay, because yeah. I was going to say it feels really good. Like the suspension feels really good. You know, just I have a I've had a chance to drive the Challenger, the Mustang, and now the new Camaro, and I kind of put them in my own personal categories as these. Is if you want the best handling one, you got to get the Camaro. If you want the most straight line speed, you go with the Challenger. If you want a little bit of a mix of both, 
you go with the Mustang. But that's not saying this Camaro is slow. I haven't had a chance to really hit it yet, but I'll tell you right now, driving it in these back roads uh, in Pennsylvania, it's a lot of fun. Um, of course, we are in the 10-speed. It feels very similar. Of course, that's because it's the same transmission. I don't know if there's a little bit difference. Um, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong with the Mustang and the Chevy 10-speed, which they co-developed. But I'll tell you right now, this feels good. Dude, that backfire is delicious. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's pretty good. So far, I'm not wowed by the acceleration, but again, we're not really going as aggressive because we're not in those kind of straight lines, but I am wowed by the uh, the handling of this car. Now, this is an experience where I could really, you know, I go to the drag strip and this is an experience where I can really appreciate um, these kind of back roads like this and this kind of a vehicle because you want, I'm actually looking forward to the turns I am so used to just going in straight lines that these turns are really a breath of fresh air. As is that sun in my face. I have a little bit, little bit of a quick dig. So we got a space where we have some room. I'm gonna do a good old punch. Reload it and go. All right. We had a lot of tires. Hello darkness, my old friend. Obviously aren't set up for this kind of a drive. They're more of a all season tire. The good years I believe are on here. The first experience where I I don't care about going fast. Like I, I really like attacking these curves. How's it feel for you in the passenger with these turns? It's fine. Are we, are we doing those videos where like you're like those girls who try to hang on? <laughs> oh my gosh! Ah! Look at this guy. Right here. I know. Oh, this Challenger. What you got? He did nothing, but I just, for the sake of. <laughs> I think it was a chick, actually. Yeah, for the sake of it. She was like, look at those weirdos. We are in track mode, by the way. Heads up display is on. Car feels great. We're gonna tack the turn in. I took one driving course, so I think I'm a, I think I'm a, you know, track driver. Because the track driver kept saying every five, every five seconds, turn in. And I was like, okay, if I just say turn in in every video, people want to swear I'm a great, I'm a really dialed in track driver. Gotta hit the apex. People were like, man, this guy knows what he's talking about. I'm like, yeah, you know. <laughs> well, listen, I just want to take you guys on a quick ride and a quick uh, tour of the 2019 Camaro 2SS. 10 speed from uh, my perspective who I do have a 2018 Mustang with a 10 speed again check out Vidian Chevrolet and my man here Brett Boone. Brett Boone hit him up go check this car out he's really 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 excited to be in this video right now I like videos <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're back here at uh, Vidian Chevrolet and we're just taking some last-minute farewells to the 2019 Camaro. Now, you may be wondering in these wrap-up thoughts, you know, would I buy this, would I not? I definitely recommend this car. If you're someone who wants a little bit of uh, everything, style, sport, handling, and power, I really think you can't go wrong with this car. Um, me, personally, I think I'm gonna stick to my 2018 Mustang. Uh, I might have made Brett a little sad because I'm not gonna buy this car. <laughs> you can see his disappointment. <laughs> That's all right. I sold that was very good. Yeah, <laughs> this is already sold, by the way. No, um, go see Brett. He's gonna sell all awesome uh, cars here. But really, a big fan of this uh, platform. Really nice to drive. Really want to handle the curve. But uh, and again, just my impressions of the front end is that it really is. It's misunderstood. You know, a lot of people will say it's a butterface. I don't think it is. I think it, it follows everything correctly.